Hi, I'm Ricky. I'm a runner and I injured my knee a few days ago. I'm going to the doctor's office for minor knee surgery today. Hey Ricky, ready for surgery? We're going to start off with some quick checkups before you get your anesthesia. You know, everyone today is quite lucky to have anesthetics that can be used during procedures, back in the olden days. These practices are obviously not used today. However, the use of towels, recreational drugs, tourniquets, and alcohol to distract the patient was how surgical procedures would be conducted before anesthetics were invented. Ouch, that sounds painful. Wait, what exactly is an anesthetic? Anesthetics are medications that prevent the feeling of pain during surgical procedures. These medications work by temporarily blocking pain signals from nerves to pain receptors in the brain. Prior to the discovery of anesthetics, Speed was the only determinant of a successful surgery. Today, general anesthesia is administered to millions of patients each year, making it crucial in medical field. This allows surgeons to accurately perform more complex time-consuming operations on forbidden areas such as abdomen, heart, and brain, subsequently saving more on lives. The first anesthetic used commonly for surgical operations was the ether, an inhalation anesthetic notably practiced in 1846 at Massachusetts General by dentist William Morton. Safety and recovery factors were a common concern among patients. Fortunately, the introduction of ether revolutionized modern-day surgical operations, making it name for itself in the surgical world. With that comes complications. Ether is highly flammable, therefore incompatible with modern surgical technologies. It has an unpleasant smell and irritates mucous membranes, resulting in coughing, straining, laryngospasm, and hypersalivation. These issues were eradicated in the 1960s with a new anesthetic agent, fluorinated hydrocarbons. Examples such as isoflurane and sevoflurane reduce the pulse operative nausea, vomiting, and flammability. Want to know why anesthesia spread so fast? One of mankind's greatest fear was eliminated. We now have dedicated anesthesiologists who work with surgeons to monitor the dose of the anesthetic given to the patient, reducing the pain of surgery. Anesthesiologists also monitor the hemodynamic status of the patient and manage complications of the anesthetic. Complications include the patient going to a cardiac arrest or lacking sufficient oxygen. With the available variety of anesthetics, surgeons are now able to identify which type of anesthesia to use based on the type of surgery and patient characteristics. These different anesthesias are known as general, local, and regional anesthetics. In Ricky's case, he's getting a knee surgery, which requires a regional anesthetic for his lower body. Phew, well thank goodness I don't live in the past. I don't know what I'd do. Yeah, you only have to rest for about a week. In the olden day, you could be on bed rest for months.